Oi! She hasn't been out of the office since 9 30, so you get away with saying that you got in then. Oh, it's our love. Oh, Beth, Beth. Mm. I best get cracking with a packet. <laughs> oh, ah! welcome back. Mm. Oh, was it gorgeous and impossibly romantic? Gorgeous, yes. Romantic. Depends how you feel about strolling hand in hand through Donkey Dung. Oh. <laughs> Have a miss, though. Well, you have missed a bit of a hoo-ha. Oh, hardly a hoo-ha. Who's hoo-ha? It's nothing. I thought Mrs Connor would want to go and pick up an award she's won, but she doesn't. And Mrs Connor informed them, and the Alia took it upon herself to change her mind for her. I thought she'd want to. Easy mistake. Exactly. Anyway, no harm done. She'll just have rang them and let them know she's not coming. She's probably forgotten about it already. Alia, client meeting this afternoon, Nutsford. I'm just checking. It's not been cancelled, has it? Or relocated or turned into some kind of jamboree without my knowledge or consent? No, Mrs. Connor. Excellent. Still as it is. I said right from the beginning she'd want nothing to do with it. Naivety it is, plain and simple. Alia should have listened to me. It's a shame, though. I bet Mrs. Connor will be able to get proper dressed up. <gasps> oh, yeah, lots of sparkles and a long frock. Oh, she'd look lovely on the red carpet, mm. Mrs. Connor. Do you think they'd have a red carpet? She's got, got cause to be on a red carpet. Yeah, she's won a Northwest Fashion Trade Award. So someone who shall remain nameless said she'd love to receive it, which, of course, she wouldn't. Oh, hi, Alia. We're just talking about you. But why wouldn't she wish to receive it? Well, after the year she's had, what would she say in a speech? Oh, you're not still on about this, are you? Well, Roy was just asking. There'll be none of that this week. None of what? Gossiping. You know what's really weird? The last few days in LA. I was really hankering to get back here. Now, that is weird, isn't it? Is our wine? Just can't find the same quality in California. Um, aren't you meant to be working through your list? I am. Big shelf behind bar. Ten days is up that list, and he waits until the day Liz is coming home. Mm. Where's she been, anyway? Spain with Steve. Mm. It's great you wanted to come back. Half expected a call to say you were selling up. Mm. Winner of the Northwest Fashion Trade Awards. Quitting? I don't think so. Fashion Trade Awards? What's this? Oh, it's nothing. I'm not even going. Done. Right. Dripping tap. Well, if you've won an award, you should go. Well, I'm having nothing to do with it, so... Well, I think that's a shame. Well, it's all about this year now, isn't it? I can do whatever I want. I answer to no one, not at home, not at work. Unlike some barmaid, I know. I am not putting myself straight back on the market. A couple of dates, that is all. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to meeting him. I'm going to grill him about what his intentions are towards you when you see him tonight and it should be him that is worried about my intentions which are not to get too involved and just have a nice time mm -hmm. does steve know only if he's due back i don't want to shove my stilettos in it yep steve knows and he's not bothered anyway been enough secrets around here to last us a lifetime we'd all come out in a rash okay well in that case i'll make a banner michelle and uh sorry what, what was his name again hamish Michelle and Hamish sitting in a tree. <laughs> ah, come. Oh, hi. I've been trying to catch you. But is it okay if I pop and see you later? Cause... Perhaps this can wait then. Hang on, this? Come on, give us a clue. Well, I'm concerned to hear that you are refusing this public accolade that celebrates your business prowess. Well, it's not like you to listen to gossip, Roy. Especially with what you've had going on. You've heard? Yes, of course. Yeah, well, my circumstances are irrelevant here. This award is an extraordinary achievement. In the midst of your darkest days and nights, you have kept this business afloat. You have refused to allow the chaos of your, of your misfortunes to impact on your working life. Like I said to Michelle, it's a sympathy vote. I probably got it for still being upright. Well, you degrade the award for others by taking this attitude. Still, as I say, we'll speak about this later. So, a flood. My phone nearly floated out the door. Ah, oh, let's have a look at it. Come on, good at phones. Come on, mine's dropped out my back pocket and down the bog more times than I care to remember. Hmm. Before, Beth, not after. It's uh, drying on the radiator at home. I see. 
And this wouldn't be a tiny fib, would it? You know, just to make sure you don't get into trouble. Hmm? Oh, come on, I'm teasing. Much to Sally's disappointment. Sally, hello. Oh, um... <clears throat> uh, coffee? No, thanks. No. OK. The door, please, Sal. So are we in trouble or not? Yes, of course you are. Only put it this way. I missed your wedding, so let's call this a belated present. You get one get-out-of-jail free card each. You've just used it. Now, out you go. Are you not docking our wages? You just back off your honeymoon. I might think that romance is dead, but I'm not a complete cow. We know it. You pay for our hotel room and we're really good. Oh, if it happens again, Kirk. It won't. Well, go on then, out you go. Oh, and congratulations. Mrs. Connor, you're an absolute belter. And I really hope that one day you find some bloke who doesn't turn out to be a drunk. Out, or Kirk. Mrs. Connor, I want to apologise. I thought you'd come back from holiday Stop! And... Apologise. Fine. Justify yourself? No. Sorry, it's only that... So, OK, what have you learnt? Not to make your decisions for you. Yes, good, and? Own up when I've made a mistake. Apologise. Yeah, good. And? Oh, yeah. Do not let... There, criticising and gossiping get under your skin. Look at the state of you. You look like you've been chomped at by a pack of hyenas. Come on. I need numbers. Who wants to come to this award singy with me? You're going? I thought you preferred a quiet life. Yeah, well, you don't get a Northwest Fashion Trade Award with that kind of attitude, Sally, so, you know. And if I've won out, it's as much down to you lot as anything, so... I could go on my Todd, but, you know, since they're offering... Right, Ali, your numbers and sort the transport. Soon as. Thank you. Yes, Mrs. Connor. Oh, well, Sean will be there. He'll be at the opening of an envelope. Oh. <laughs> Wants to know who's going, same as Julie. It's like trying to organise an A-list party, this. I will if she does. Well, we're yes yeses so far. Me and Carla. And me. I'm not having you two going on your own. <laughs> More she'll come back with a pay rise. Well, if it's only you, me and Carla, I'll order a car. I thought we'd need a minibus. Who's going on a trip that needs a minibus? Carla's awards do. It's the cost for us. Newlyweds have to think about these things. Free ticket and transport's all well and good, but then there's the bar. Well, it'll be free, won't it? Free bar? Where well, yeah, these kinds of dues usually are. Text her and ask her. You text her. You're organising it. I won't be drinking. You text her, Sal. No, it sounds greedy. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll text her. Got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll text you when I know. Bye, Sean. Well, uh, if it's a free bar, he's in. If it's a pay bar, he's out. Oh, he's such a cheapskate. Have you seen the price of drinks at these posh hotels? Well, if it is a posh hotel. It'll be like a second honeymoon without the donkeys. Shame. All right, so basically, pay bar means a book a car. Free bar means a book a minibus. OK, um, free bar, free grub and a band. Minibus! Hey! <laughs> Will you tell him to come and have a pizza with me? Go and have a pizza with Tyrone. I've leftovers. Thank you. Well, in that case, take the kettle on for me. Right. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye, 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 bye. Oh, and tell him his community service is fine. My community service is inadequate. Well, I disagree, and I don't even know what it is. Well, you don't need to, nor indeed does Tyrone. Uh, with respect, it's not your business. Nor was my award your business, but you still stuck your nose in, didn't you? Look, Roy, there's nothing more you can do or should do to make this any worse for yourself. And I've known you long enough to know that you'll have been punishing yourself since it happened anyway, so that's more torture than any courts can drum up. Well, the punishment should fit the crime. You were under stress. You experienced more stress last year than most people have in their entire lifetime, and yet you won an award for your business. You created a normality somewhere in your life. I lost a drunk that I foolishly married and a murdering brother. Roy, you lost beautiful Haley. I need to close up. Now, what you need to do is do your community service and then get on with living the rest of your life as best you can. That's all any of us can do, all right? And yet you reject an award that celebrates that resilience. Oh, I'm going. I'm taking the old team with me, if they're up for it. That's what I came to tell you. Will you eat something? <laughs> 